Hi, this is Kevin from BCH. Uh, today, um, today we're going to uh, troubleshoot one of the customer's question, and uh, maybe you can be a detective and just uh, work through those stuff with me. The customer bought uh, our uh, sponge, spongeless refill kit for two forty-five, two forty-six. Basically, uh, here's the problem. So he installed he installed the refillable cartridge in the printer, and uh, he put a ten mil in the black and two mils in each color, and it works at first. So did a, a couple cleaning cycles, and uh, everything is fine except I was missing one yellow. So right now, here may be two things. One thing is uh, for the refillable cartridge, 10 mil for black is kind of a half a tank because uh, the refillable cartridge take at least 15 to 20 mils for black. And the color, it only put a two mil for the color. And this is a little bit too little, so maybe that have something to do with uh, didn't print uh, a bar of yellow, or um, or maybe uh, the nozzle is uh, is uh, blocked. So so here here we know what what to do. Uh, first thing to do is uh, put more ink, uh, put it until you full. Uh, we're talking about refillable cartridge here. Okay, and not the, the not the original cannon. Original cannon, you want to put two mils, okay, rather than five mils for color. Um, so that's over plan A is uh, make a refillable cartridge, fill it all the way, and uh, unclog it using the the primer. Okay, and uh, then the second. And then, uh, uh, and then he did the, uh, he put the original back, and they have all colors, of course. Um, so it's Canon cartridge; they should have gold colors. And uh, then he put the refilled black, uh, refilled cartridge back. And it says it stopped printing and it says low ink, okay. Okay, now the refilled shows no ink. So what he did is he tried to hold down the stop button for five to 10 seconds and uh, tried it about uh, eight to 10 different times and uh, nothing happened. Okay, and they said on your block, it shows direction for a different way uh, with the printer on hold down, on, um, with printer on, hold down stop button for five seconds power off printer hold down stop for another five seconds still holding the button press for five times i don't i don't remember <laughs> this on her blog okay so, uh, so so here's the problem again okay. uh low ink it doesn't matter okay low ink you have to print until uh window pops up okay and then with that windows open, with that window open, you go hold down the button. Okay, with low ink, nothing going to happen. So, uh, no matter how many times you hold down the hold down to the uh, stop button. Okay, uh, so this is the this is why. So. So he tried about uh, six more different times. So basically, I'll hold down the button and power the printer and power it back, um, uh, which is basically uh, you don't need to do that. Okay, we're going to um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you one cartridge have low has low ink, one cartridge has, is comp is depleted. Then we'll show you how to reset them. Okay, so basically, uh, basically, 
he didn't reset it, and then he started. Then he filled the cartridge and put a four, a quarter of、uh, mils of air in each hole, which he's trying to unclog. And、uh, and then, basically, he、uh, he don't know what what to do from now on. Okay. Okay, I think we got a plan here. First thing is, uh, we we try to mimic what he did, and、uh, we put only, uh, then we we're gonna make a refillable cartridge. Then we're gonna fill it up all the way, not with ten mil and two mil. We will fill up the cartridge, and then we unclog it. So make sure it's working, and then we're gonna print more pages and show you how to reset it. And think that will cover all the questions here. Oh, by the way,、um, actually, I called this customer, and、uh, here's another issue: is、uh, the customer was using the wireless connection, which is not、uh, it's not a USB connection. So with wireless, the different errors pops up, and is I suspect is the.、Uh, The wireless didn't have good connection, so when you print it, it doesn't print.、Um, but、uh, but for you to troubleshoot it, it's better it's better just use a USB、uh, connection and、uh, just make sure that it has good、uh, so it can make sure you have good connection. So you don't compound with、uh, how to disable disable the router and、uh, just all those stuff. Okay. So today, actually, I set up a wireless connection.、Uh, I set up a wireless connection with. Uh, uh, here you can see the color cartridge is steady yellow. That means it's low on ink, and the black cartridge is blinking. That means it's depleted. Actually,、um, what you need to do is actually go go to the. Uh, I'll, I'll use iPhone. You can use you can use your、uh, like a Samsung or like a Android phone. So go to、uh, your App Store, and、uh, you search for Canon, Canon Print. So then what you do is、uh, you add a printer, and you register a printer. Form a wireless LAN setup. So you manually select connection type. Then you choose a、uh, connect or the connect via wireless router. Router. Now in my iPhone, I go to、uh, settings and the Wi-Fi, and、uh, I need to get、uh, the printer to be able to. Show a Canon J, Canon J, uh, wireless. Uh, what I'm doing is okay. Some、um, some manuals are wrong. They said black. Here is what you do.、Um, the start, the start, and、uh, the start must be steady. Then you hold down this for a few seconds. You can see the 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 start button is start blinking. Then you press color. Then press the network, and you can see network is blinking. And on the Y wireless, you can see this long Canon J I J one seven seven has unsecured network. Then we、we'll、connect to it. The connection is successful. Then we go back to the. App. So the printer will be connected to the following wireless router. Say yes, and then you enter the password. Now I show up the this printer. So now we go back to where we were. Start setup.
after like a two, three minutes. The first thing is uh, it try to do alignment. Uh, we don't really want to do alignment when do when we do not have a good cartridge. Um, for the setup, we said now, and uh, then test test print. We just said next. We don't we don't need to test it. And they said setup come. Okay, the first we're going to do is to make uh, two refillable cartridges. Okay, we're gonna use the the BCH ESFC CB2 spongeless cartridge. The first thing to do is just uh, cut off the the black top. the sponge now I cut out the color one Now we use a piece of sandpaper. Now, now is a good time to wash out the dried ink. You can see on the bottom. Well, steam, steam clean is a little bit. The smaller, smaller, and then the towards the top. 
don't think we have a problem with the black. Black should be easy. We got the super glue from a uh, essence store. Another color. My glove becomes sticky, so I don't want to mess up with the, with those electronic ribbons. I just add a little bit more when, when I see the air. Okay, there are two places you don't touch. One is here, one is one is here. That looks pretty good. So I'll set it here for at least half an hour. Okay, now we're all ready to address the first problem. Gonna add ink to the black one.
We add about like a three quarter full. I can actually, if we want, we can just go all the way. How about that? Before I put it in, I'll just give it a little, little bit of steaming. Just in case. Okay, color one. Okay, now what happened is the color, see the color cartridge is blinking and uh, the hazard sign is blinking. That means the connection is not good for the color one. So what I will do is I'll take out take the color one out. Oh, <laughs> that's why I forgot to take this off. And make sure it's very dry. Okay. Now you can see the color one is steady yellow. Steady yellow means the color is the the ink is low. Uh, the printer think ink is low, and the black is flashing. That means the black is depleted. 
Okay. We want the we want the uh, we want the cartridge to be depleted. Let's go uh, print out. Of, uh, uh, let's go troubleshoot the troubleshoot the clocking issue first. I'll do a deep cleaning first with no color. And now you can see the color one has a triangle sign on it, and it says ink is running low. And the black is doesn't have a triangle, that means black is depleted. So this is actually the uh, the user's second question is uh, how can I reset the low ink? Um, you cannot reset the low ink. You have to print until the ink is depleted. Otherwise, no matter how many reset you do, how many times you push down the stop button, nothing happens. Okay. So if you see, uh, you have a steady yellow light, and uh, and it says low ink. That's okay. That's that's absolutely normal. Just keep printing until the ink is depleted. Okay, now we'll print that check pattern. Okay, let's take a look. See, we have uh, OK, OK-ish magenta and yellow. So that means uh, the black is pr pretty good. The black, I would say, is like a 98, 90, uh, 98, 99% of, uh, uh, of the, its prime, uh, of its prime condition. So what we need to do is unclog the Cyan, uh, unclog the magenta, and unclog the yellow. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to have a piece of uh, paper towel ready. All I need to do is using this one included in the unit. So I'll blow like a one mil of air into the, I'll put in all of them. You can see the you can see the air bubbles coming out. That what happened is uh, during the refill, you get the air bubbles inside the print head. That's why it blocks. Uh, okay. 
should be okay. You can see we sort of get all three colors, and the ink is still dripping. Because the air at below the end, it have a delayed effect. I blow too much air in the yellow, so we need a The yellow to be set for a second. Maybe I just un, un release the extra air out. So that'll do it. Now you can see the ink can hold the cartridge can hold the ink. That's because I put too much pressure on here. So now I, now I put it in and uh, do another cleaning. Okay, now it looks like uh, the cyan has a little bit of problem here, and uh, and we're going to do the same thing again for the cyan. I think oh, I think you can see uh, there may be something going on there, so I clean up the top. What I'll do is, is I'll just slide the sign balance its pressure. So I just unplug the, the fuel hole and plug it back. Uh, I'm not going to blow air in it this time. Uh, I believe it is because we. Um, Pressurize different chambers. Some of still them, some of them have a higher pressure. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just unplug everything and plug it back. So the air is all balanced among three of those. I can see that actually the sign is much better now. So uh, what I'll do is I'll do one more time. I'll blow some air in it one more time. I need to stop the flowing. Okay, so now it's perfect. So here's uh, here's the first part. Uh, what sh what should you do when you have straps? So uh, basically, the use the the user what he did is uh, instead of doing this, it's interesting. He didn't he didn't do this part of uh, trap of uh, unclogging. So immediately he put a two. Um, two cannons cartridge inside. So he took the cartridge out. And he 
screw the two cannon cartridges in. Hey, print, uh, print a uh, um, couple pages. And now, after printing a print couple pages, he put the uh, he put uh, the the refillable cartridge back. Okay, uh, I I don't know why he. Uh, need to put the original uh, cannon in, but we just try to repeat his, what he did. Okay, and now the refill one's in, and uh, then he says uh, both cartridges are not working, so. Um, Let's try to print a page. And uh, you can see still the uh, the color one is uh, low ink and black one is uh, uh, is empty. So it's depleted. And uh, you have a pop-up window set. The ink cartridge has been installed or replaced. Uh, if the printout contains misalignment or um, not, it's not satisfactory or whatever, and uh, here, the only thing you need to do is just click OK. And here we go. Um, you're going to have an error code 1686, which is for the black, because black is, de is depleted. The Canon asks you if you want to print down the depleted. And it actually gave you the instruction of hold down the button for five seconds. So, um, so what you'll do is just hold down the stop, the stop for five seconds with a uh, uh, oh, with that window open, do not close that window. So you hold it down. Okay. Okay, um, so after this, uh, 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 after this, okay, let's fix this low ink problem. Um, I don't call it problem, it, because it, it doesn't have problem. Uh, so right now, the printer believes the, there's a little ink in the color. So what we do is, uh, we're going to just, uh, just keep printing until the, until the printer thinks the color is gone. So we will run through like uh, maybe a hundred pages. So uh, the black is nice and blinking um, where they were recited. So now we only need to work on the color. Now after maybe 20 pages and it will sh it shows support code 1688, the following ink has run out, the color cartridge. CL241 and it asks you to press 
تحت ستوب هذا see the see the triangle sign and that the yellow is flashing so now we press and hold the stop and we'll hear a click and the pin pointer back to work and uh, now both both of them are flashing so um, when, it, when it works, both of them should be flashing because uh, the ink is depleted. So now you go back, you, you're going to see the, the warning sign it, it, it is off for the color. So now the printer can just work forever and 